let's just start here, Kendall, by putting one of the blocks like that LA style between the knees. Yep. I think that first song is breathe it in. And let it out. And you're just going to find like a pace, a rhythm of the breath that really suits you. And then I came across, across a quote yesterday that I really like. And it says, to others, practice kindness in your actions. To yourself, practice kindness in your thoughts. So that's going to be a little bit of your like anchoring theme this morning. It's just when you have the opportunity, kind of examine the thought. You just really say, am I being kind? Am I giving myself like space and grace? So you're not gonna really squeeze the block when you inhale. But then when you exhale, I want you to put a little bit of pressure drawing in against the block. And then you're gonna soften when you inhale. and gently squeeze as you exhale. Okay, so you continue that. And what I want you to feel is even this very light, very simple action, which even if I was there, like I might not be able to see in your body. When I inhale, I get that little lift of my low back. When I squeeze, I get a little lengthening, like the low back is pressing down. And then with this very gentle, like rocking of your hips, the spine begins to kind of like wave or undulate, it starts to move. These are the subtle energies in the body with your breath. And we're gonna take three more, inhale. Exhale. And if you feel that you want it to be stronger or bigger, if that's fine, just stay right there, inhale. Exhale, when you squeeze the block, you might feel your feet, your foundation connect more deeply into the mat. And last one, inhale. Feeling the upper thigh bones, the sitting bones spread a little. And as you exhale, the upper thighs and the sitting bones draw together. Good. And then release and hug your right knee in towards your chest. Yep. Good. So that's a little bit of that like squeezing action up at the top of the hips that I want you to feel. And then interlace the hands behind the back of your right hamstring. Yeah. And push your leg forward as you start to straighten the leg. So my arms actually end up straightening and I move the leg away from me. Good. And then bend the knee and draw it in. Inhale as you squeeze in, bending the knee deeply. And then exhale, press the upper leg bone forward into your hand as you start to straighten the leg. And then you're going to continue there three more times. I think of it like kind of like 
folding my right leg all the way in and then unfolding, starting to stretch through the back of the knee. Continue, knee bends in, inhale. Press away as you exhale. One more. So this getting this kind of like pumping action. You even have lymph nodes at the back of your knee, at the top of your hip. And then extend the leg. Good. Trying to press like the femur bone into the hamstring, the hamstring into your hands, creating resistance. And then bend your right knee again. And then let's take our strap and bring it across the ball of the foot. So when we kind of split the strap between our hands and we want to pull down more specifically on the pinky edge side of that right foot, because for most people, the foot is going to sickle a little bit. So we want to be pressing up through the root of the right big toe, pulling down through the pinky edge side and giving yourself enough strap that you feel like you can straighten your leg fully here. Yep. Good. And then you decide, is it easier if you kind of walk your hands up the strap so that your elbows aren't bent? Yeah, good. Usually the higher you hold that strap, then you're not having to like use the muscles of your arms. And you can still imagine that you have the hand behind the back of your right thigh and you're pushing forward. But okay, inhale, exhale, and then straighten and extend your left leg forward. Yeah, and that's going to put more tension on the back of that right leg. And then again, you just keep exploring like what, what's, a, what's a kind action to yourself. To let your leg split open here. And so for me, a lot of like kindness is actually just patience, like not forcing your hamstring to open before it's ready. You're going to hear, be here for just a few more breaths, but I want you to see if you can get a little bit of lumbar curve. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Rebend the left knee. Now put both ends of the strap into your right hand. And then with your left hand, draw your left knee in towards your chest. Okay. And then simultaneously, like a book, Kendall, I want you to open your knees, sending your right leg out to the side, your left knee out to the left. And that's absolutely fine. Use the bed. Kind of press the outer edge of that right shin bone into the mat, uh, into the mattress. And then you can use your left hand on the inside of your left knee and try to peel your legs open. Yeah. So what I love about this is it keeps your spine long, your hips very much in neutral. Normally, if we didn't use the left knee as a counterbalance, we would kind of tip onto that right hip. We want to keep our hips in neutral as you take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Step your left foot into the mat. Split the strap. And see if you've got any more space during that long hold. Stretch out into the back of your right leg. Good. And then release. Step the right foot down into the mat. And just pause. Right, so like now when I feel my hips, kind of like my right hip feels a little lifted because it's lighter and my right hip or something, my left hip kind of feels like it's sinking down, like not as spacious and light. Grab your left knee, pull the left knee deep in towards the chest. Yep, good. And then interlace the hands, kind of feel the center of that left hamstring. And then press the leg away from you. And I always think of it like, Clearing out the cobwebs. Good. With breath, inhale it in. Exhale, press it forward, up and out. 
see through this in and out motion, bending the knee, squeezing it in on the inhale and pressing it out on the exhale. Not only is it that pump, but it kind of gets the brain ready. It kind of knows, okay, I'm trying to straighten the leg. Good. Out, driving through the heel. And then on this last one, bend the knee in and take the strap across the ball of your left foot to extend it up towards the ceiling. Good. Pull a little bit through the pinky edge side of that left foot. I kind of always try to press the root of my big toe like into the strap, like you're standing on the ceiling. And then we put the hands on the back of that left hamstring so you could remember the feeling of pressing forward. Good, yep. Okay, keeping your left leg stabilized, extend the right leg forward. Good. And then scan the body. For the places that we don't need to be holding tension, scan the thought. We're going to be a little kinder to ourselves. Just being right here, inhale. Exhale. Put both ends of the strap into your left hand as you draw that right knee back up in towards your chest and hold on to the right knee. Good. Once you're balanced across your hips, Please split your legs open evenly away from the midline. I like my right arm, my right forearm, or my right hand on the inside of the right knee so I can press it down. And this is a little bit more of an advanced view, but even here, we would want to be pressing our skewer bones forward like pressing them into the hamstrings, that should help get lumbar curve. You have one more breath, releasing the inner thigh. Inhale. Exhale, step that right foot back down into the mat as you pull your left leg to the midline. Just explore that final little opening. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, release. Set both feet into the mat. And now extend your legs straight forward, flexing your feet like we would in a mountain pose at the top of our mat. Now, I'm not going to make you do it, but imagine you had a block between the inner edges of your feet, between your inner knees, between your inner upper thighs. Cross your upper arms over your chest. So like my left hand is on my right shoulder, my right hand is on my left shoulder, crossing the arms. Press through your heel. Inhale. And then on an exhale, can you sit here using the entire abdominal wall? Good. Yes. Good. And then you're going to, and I'm kind of dragging the heel. Roll all the way down with control. We do not have to be in a hurry. Try to use the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up. What I like about this is you can feel the measure of my momentum by how much like I try to move or use my arms. So this is all core. And then you lower back down. And you're just going to do one more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Fully sit up. Okay. So we're going to go back down again. And we add on when we sit up. So this is your inhale. Exhale. Sit up. And then plant the hands back behind you, fingertips turn forward, step your feet into the mat and lift your hips and your ribs and come into reverse tabletop. Good. Inhale, trying to get the hips to be the highest point of the pose. And then exhale, lower the hips down, stretch the legs to straight and lower back down. You have two more full rounds of these. These are great total body little warm ups. Inhale. Exhale up, plant palms, get into the wrists, get into the elbows, get into the shoulders, push the floor away, and great way to, yeah, 
exhale, warm up the neck and the throat, hips down to the mat, extend legs, try to control, I put the imaginary block, there's some tone in the legs as you lower, inhale, exhale up, exhale, pull you into the core, hands back behind you, ground through heel, come all the way up here, and then exhale, lower your hips down, cross your ankles, plant your palms. Tabletop position. Okay, so from the table, you tuck your toes. Drop belly, lift chest, pull the chin away from your chest. Keep that rotation in your sitting bones and then lift your knees up off the mat, downward facing dog. Pedal once, pedal twice, shake out the head. Check in with the tops of your shoulders. Knees to the mat, table top. Continue two more. From the pubic bone to the belly button to the heart, right? So just be like kind and gentle to the spine here and downward facing dog. Left, right, lift heels, bend out knees, kind of see if you can get that kind of like squeezing, pulsing feeling at the tops of your thighs. And then one more, knees to the mat, we keep our hands planted. We think that our elbow creases are turning parallel to the front of the mat. That should help you to open across your collarbones, cow pose, chin lifts, inhale, open. And then exhale, stretch it back, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're at 20 minutes, kind of like the first third of half is done. Okay, you got to the hamstrings and glutes, the inner thighs as we stretch the spine. Now, knees down to the mat, and this is going to be our movement. Point your toes, press back into an extended child pose. Okay, so again, it's squeezing at the backs of the knees, at the tops of the thighs. And then this is going to be kind of one breath, one movement, letting your breath guide you. It's going to just seem really simple. Inhale up table. Exhale, fall back. Extended child pose. Dropping the head, relaxing the neck, sinking the rib cage. Follow your breath. Just continue. So it's a slow, even pull. And an even press back. And it's actually a really great way to feel it like a moving meditation to try to see how accurately you can map the breath to the movement. Like when the movement stops, the breath stops, press all the way back. Good. Okay. Then here, from your extended child pose, roll up through the spine. Come in to sit on your heels and take your hands to your hips. As we press down into the tops of the feet, inhale, and then exhale, just come up into kneeling. But at the top here, kneeling, and you might want to take your feet, your knees a little bit wider, Kendall, just a little bit wider, just your knees, yeah, a little underneath. I want you to squeeze your bum a little. It's almost like you're kind of pulsing the hips a little bit forward. That's going to open the front of the hips. And it's super simple. You just inhale, sit down. Exhale, pulse up, but can we start to press down through the tops of our ankles? That's going to make it a little bit harder. Squeeze butt muscles one more. Inhale to sit. Exhale to squeeze up. Now tuck your toes under. With all 10 toes, even that pinky toe, now sit down on your toes, awakening the feet. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze up, pulse. Use glutes, think to engage your hamstring. And we lower. Inhale. Exhale for two. I always think that I would be at a wall and I'd be like trying to press my pubic bone into the wall. One more. Inhale down and awake up the feet and exhale. So being kind and gentle here. Now, when you sit down this time, Wrap your elbows back around, interlace your fingers, and bring your palms together to touch. 
Inhale, full breath into, up into the chest. Exhale, come up to kneeling. This is a little bit of balance as you step your right foot forward. And then press from your back left toes forward, lunging into that front knee. Inhale. Exhale. Shift that all the way back. Find kneeling. And then sit back down. Good. Release your arms. Roll out your shoulders. And then for the second side, I want you to make sure you put the opposite finger on top. Nice roll. Good. As you pull that down and back, inhale. Push from the toes. Lift the hips. Squeeze glutes. Find kneeling. Left foot steps with purpose. And then push from the back leg. Sink forward and down into the front hip. Inhale. Exhale, shift that all the way back. Knee, so like nice amount of control, long through your low back. And then release, sit back on your heels, roll out your shoulders, wiggle that out. Continue, interlace. Every time, if you feel kind of you want to get bigger, you can, like inhale, like I kind of like a cow-like feeling here. Push up to kneeling. Right foot. Step forward, squeeze deep into that right hip crease, inhale, and then exhale, fingertips to the mat or use block, and then pull that right leg back to straighten the front right leg. I am with you here today, yeah. I'm needing blocks here too. And so this is, this is nothing different than what we did Starting on our back, our left knee was bent. Our right leg was extended. You could imagine this strap across the ball of that right foot, pulling it back. And then how you had the full long extension through your spine, lengthening out through the crown of your head. Inhale. Exhale. This time, remove the block. Bend the front knee. Step back, downward facing dog. One. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Kind of a hard cue, it's not exactly a basic cue, but even here, could you find your femur bones, your upper leg bones? I remember when we were pressing them back into the hamstrings, we kind of press back and make the front of your legs engaged. Drop your knees down onto the mat. Press your hips back towards your heel, coming to seated. Yep, we're on our toes, toe stand, interlace your fingers, make it as much as a cow pose as you want. Inhale. There's the patience there as you wait and you exhale and you line up your femur bones and your hips and then your left foot steps forward and you push from the back toes and you take the full hip hinge in. Wait for one more breath, inhale and then exhale, release the bind, grab your block and come into Ardha Hanumanasana, extending that front leg forward. I was teaching up at Seoul this morning and trying to explain to people that there's not actually that many yoga poses. It's just kind of like the same shape shifted in gravity with like, so uh, you get like kind of a different weight bearing load on your muscles and joints. So like on the ground, right? Gravity is kind of helping us here. We're kind of using gravity as resistance to help find more length. Inhale. Exhale. Kind of get what you need out of stretching through the back of that knee up into the hip crease. And then bend your front left knee, step into the foot and press back. Downward facing dog. 
Okay, so fairly slow, but hopefully very mindful. As you feel the femur bones press back, that's gonna make you stronger and more grounded back into your leg. Let's bring some freedom to stretch out more through the spine. Knees down to the mat, tabletop. Sit back onto your heels. Good. So you and I's least favorite pose, interlace the hands. Not this one, but when it's coming here, I know you're going to know what I mean. Inhale, cow pose. Lift up to find kneeling. It helps me here to think I'm squeezing a block in between my knees. Now, take a hand, hands to your hips. Help to drag the flesh of your buttocks down. Help to push the hips forward. And then as you extend your spine, can you reach back and grab your heels? Coming into Uttrasana. Not my favorite. Press down from your shoulders to your elbows. Try to push your heels to the roots of your big toes. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come back to your hips to support as you lift back up to stand. Right foot steps forward. And now your left foot steps forward to stand. Inhale, circle your arms around and up reaching. Exhale, get that pulsing hip hinge as you fold in. Hands to shins. Inhale to lengthen, half flat back. And then plant your palms to step back. One, two, top of your push-up. Inhale, top of your push-up. Exhale, you bend your elbow, squeeze between your shoulder blades to lower slow. Point toes, inhale, cobra. And then exhale, press back, child's pose. If you want to bend your elbows, stack your hands. Drop quietly down and in. So a lot of times in that stillness, I can actually hear my thoughts. And instead of listening to those thoughts, I hear the sound of my breath. Back inside, as you lift up, tuck your toes under, come to sit on your heels. One more time. Interlace the hands back behind you. Roll back in together. Sweep wide in through the sitting bones. Spinal extension. Inhale. Exhale. Come up to kneeling. We want to squeeze that imaginary block between our knees to fire up our thighs. Hands to the hips. I can use my thumbs to kind of like press my tailbone forward, press the hips forward. Lift through the bottom ribs, roll down and back to the shoulders as you reach back for Ustrasana, right? And so like the tightness in our body like shifts us backwards. And we keep trying to drive forward through the hips. Think that something's like Hooking the center of your chest, pulling it up. Inhale. Exhale. Re support your low back as you come up. Good. And then left foot steps forward 90 90. And right foot steps forward to stand. Inhale the arms up, reach. Exhale to bend knees and fold in. Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, half flat back, kind of think total body from the toes to the crown of the head. Keep that extension as you step back, top of your push up, plank pose. Okay, focus on the space in between your shoulder blades. As you bend your elbows, melt your rib cage down, wrap the shoulder blades onto the upper back. Inhale, cobra. This time, exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. One. Inhale. 
Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Knees down to the mat, table top. Grab your double block. It's great if you want to come all the way up to Chicago, uh, New York style. And then right foot step forward. Back left toes tuck, long low lunge. Okay, so now we've just got a little bit more to be using that back leg. Drop the back left knee straight down, lift chest, inhale, open. I want you to feel full stretch. And it's the same thing like camel pose. You try to squeeze that left butt muscle and push that left hip more forward and down. Good. And then as you're ready, straighten the front right leg and fold. So essentially, like we did this on our back, when we straightened the left leg forward, pushing that right femur bone down into your hamstring. And you're going to go two more. Then deep into the front knee. So Pulsing, inhale, open. I think of it like an up dog. Exhale, press back. Rib cage, trying to connect to that upper right thigh. One more. Then knee, drop back, left knee. Inhale, feel the toes stand and the back toes, the glutes, kind of putting everything together. And then exhale, fold. Okay. Drop that back. Left knee down, come back into your lunge. Now you're going to walk your blocks back here, straighten your front right leg, Arda Hanuman. Good. And then we're going to spin the left block to flat, planting our left hand onto the block. Or you could take it Chicago style. You're going to decide. Now put your thumb into your right hip crease and roll it down. Good. Extend the spine, lengthen, and then turn through your ribs, turn through your shoulder, and extend that right arm up, trying to keep rolling that right hip down. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, right hand comes back down onto the block. Back up nice and high. Square it off. Final one for this leg. Like the imaginary strap is like pulling on the ball of the foot. And then turn your right toes open. And so even though that thumb isn't there anymore, you imagine it rolling that outer right hip down. And then you decide if it's kind to yourself, do you start to fold in? Is that what the body needs? One. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Please release the outer leg. Come back to center. Bend the knee. Plant the hands. Meet me back. Downward facing dog. You have your two last vinyasas of class. Inhale forward into plank. Bend elbows as you release and lower down. Inhale, point toes, curl up cobra. Exhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. I want you to hold in stillness there. One. I think that the balls of my feet press down into the mat. And I'm trying to stretch my heel back longer. Like my foot would grow in size, heel stretching back, femur bone stretching back into the broadness, the widening of the hamstring. Knees down to the mat, tabletop position. Double block up high to New York style. And then left foot step forward. Back right toes are tucked. Lunge. And then that's three times. Back knee down. Inhale, open your pace. Push 
pelvis forward. Exhale, straighten front leg, press left femur bone. Down and back. Yep, continue. Inhale. How are the shoulders? Kind of nestling onto the upper back. Exhale, hold. One more, drop back knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Bend that front knee, put your back knee down. Walk it back as you straighten the left leg. Yeah. Feel the shape and space. Back of the head presses like kind of towards the door behind you. Then that right block to flat, planting the palm. I put my thumb into my left hip crease to remind me to roll it down. It wants to lift up. And then once that's anchored down, turn the belly, turn the chest, open that left arm. Adding the twist. Always the same cues. It's just hard to find them in some poses. That left femur bone pushes down into the hamstring. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Hands to the block. Square it off. Final pose. Flexing the foot. And then turn from the knee. Turn from the upper thigh. Like you have the thumb in the outer left hip. Inhale. And then exhale, if you want, fold more over that front leg. Rotate back to center. Got one left pull on that hamstring if you wanted, and then release and plant your hand. Final vinyasa. Okay, and that'll be two thirds of the way done, and the rest is just gonna be kind of stretchy and gooey. Inhale, exhale, inhale forward into plank. So we balance it out the strength of the back body with the strength of the front body as you bend your elbows, shrug your shoulders back, and then lifting away from the floor. Inhale to curl up cobra. Child's pose. Sound of your Ujjayi breathing. Let's go with softness and let's go with patience. Inhale, come up, tabletop position. Okay, so from here, knees are going to be together. And you're going to take that left knee and you're going to move it behind your right knee so that your upper thigh bones are crossed. Take your feet wide. And then I do this as like a series of pulsing. I stay at the top and then I start to slide and push back. But like I definitely don't touch both sitting bones yet and then I pull forward to inhale and then sit back maybe a little deeper dragging back as I exhale and then one more so all of this just kind of lets the brain get ready and you can make little adjustments feet wider and then you shift all the way back and you try to sit down in between your heels Good. Yeah. And I usually kind of move my feet, widen them out. I might even 
get into it and like move my left bum more to the left. And then interlace your hands back behind you. Inhale, open. Exhale, bend elbows. Take the hands below your right rib and drop right ear to right shoulder. And then any movement you need here, Kendall, like letting the head roll forward a little. Um, keep to the right though. Don't go over to the left. Just yeah, because yeah, we've got the hands over at the right, and so you just want to focus. So you can let your head go forward and down a little. You can let your right ear go back to your right shoulder, and you can kind of tip the head up and back, so it's like more into the throat. So the whole idea of kind of like pulling your hands over to the right it anchors your left shoulder, so your left shoulder doesn't move, and we're just trying to stretch our like the top of our left ear as far away from our left shoulder as possible. And that's what's going to stretch out those muscles. And you're going to find little places in your own body where it's particularly tight. Especially when I tip my head kind of back, I like to press out with my lower jaw, like an underbite, and it gives me even more opening. Good. And then you're going to come back to center. As you extend the arms back, inhale, open, and then we start to hinge forward. And then as soon as you're ready, you can release the arms forward, use a block, and fold in here. And usually my inner dialogue is something like, ugh, why am I so tight? Ugh. Right, and this is a space for some grace and some kindness. I'm here. I don't need to force. I don't need to push. Even just the tiniest little bit is releasing some pent up tension in the tissues. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale and lift to rise. And roll over your shin bone. Tabletop position. And then you kind of see if that tabletop into cow feels a little bit different than the beginning of class. Downward facing dog. Try to feel that length through the side of the neck. And then final side. Knees come down to the mat. Kind of find that midline. As you take your right knee behind your left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Just take your time. It'll be very, very different between sides. Pull forward in. Exhale, press back. One more inhale forward. Exhale back. And once your hips come all the way down to grounded, interlace the hands. Inhale, open. Ooh, I'm super tight on me today. And bend elbows, bring it behind, right below your left rib, and then left ear, left shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Yep. Yeah. And then you explore some half moon. I think by now on your playlist, either 
it's off. It might be on the power of now, but if it's still on that ra, ma, da, sa, it's trying to find these energies in the body. The ra is the sun, the ma is the moon, the da is the earth, and the sa is like that universal connection. And sometimes like when I can't have the type of thought that I want, I replace them with a mantra. Right, it's kind of like when our moms would tell us if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. It's like, if you can't switch to kindness, switch to a mantra. It actually has a nice high vibrational frequency. And then you're gonna come back to center Arm stretch back, heart lift. And we try to go with that long sense through the front body until you need to release. Use a block if you want to. Hands can come in front of you for balance as we hold. Inhale, exhale, okay. Inhale, lift back up the center here. And then just unfold your legs forward. And then since you're close to the wall, kind of like, I really don't think you should have to like shift much. I just want you to bring your hips close because all this stuff is like good for lymph drainage, okay? And then, yeah, swing your legs up the wall. And then we're going to go bottoms of your feet together. Arms out, palms turned up. Closing your eyes here. If it is the mantra, or if you want to do the mantra, you bring your thumb to your index finger and you silently chant to yourself, Ra, and then you move it to your middle finger, Ma, ring finger, Da, pinky finger, Sa, Ra, Ma, Da, Sa. The music's going, you could get into that rhythm. And then you're here for three minutes. Time has already started.
you're still doing the mantra, just release the mantra. And then you can bend your knees. Roll to one side. And press up to find seated. Other hand folded in front of the heart center. When you can today, a small little act of kindness, but more important, those kind thoughts to yourself. Take your thumb to your third eye, bowing forward to feel the practice. Eye, Siddhartha. 